हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हार्टी वेलकम टू अवर क्लास होप यू आर ऑल प्रेटी वेल आई बिलीव यू हैव वॉच एंड गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच लेट्स रीकैप अबाउट डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अवर टूडे सेशन डायरेक्ट स्पीच द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स स्पोकन और कन्वेड बाय द स्पीकर indirect speech content will be there as it is but words will not be repeated exact words will not be repeated we have learnt the rules and regulations of direct and indirect speech also i have told you to complete the exercise given in your material now i am going to announce the answers of that exercise first one you should exercise every day tapas told kirti tapas advised to kirti that she should exercise every day she said to mohan we will meet tomorrow she told mohan that they would meet the next day number 3 he said i bought a house in new delhi he said that he had bought a house in new delhi four she said they have been very unkind to me she complained that they had been very unkind to her ashok i think you should try to get more exercise said the doctor the doctor advised ashok that he should try to get more exercise six I will come to your house next week she said to him she told him that she would come to his house in the following week she told him that she would come to his house the following week 7 the teacher said to the students keep quiet the teacher ordered the students to keep quiet Eight. Mrs. Pankaj said, "I have lost my purse." Mrs. Pankaj said that she had lost her purse. Number nine. Ravi said to his manager, "We were we are meeting this afternoon." Ravi told his manager that they were meeting that afternoon. The shopkeeper said to Aruna there is a chocolate ice cream in my shop The shopkeeper told Aruna that there was a chocolate ice cream in his shop The girl said to the old man my father will return in the evening The girl told the old man that her father would return in the evening 12 The stranger said to me I want to live in the colony The stranger told me that he wanted to live in that colony 13 the old lady told the young man i want your help the old lady asked the young man that she wanted his help 14 the manager said to me i want to know your trip in summer the manager told me that he wanted to know my trip in summer 15 Ravi said to his mother I cannot complete this work Ravi told his mother that he cannot complete that work I believe that all might have answered correctly if any mistakes are there please rectify them making conversations conversation speaking with the two or more people Now what are we going to learn today making conversations how should we speak what kind of sentences can be used as per the situation or context asking for information when you want to know the information there are many instances examples in our lives in which we need to get information from people in this unit let us learn some of the expressions we you we can use for requesting information 
there are many examples in our lives and there are many ways to know the information in this unit let us learn some of the expre expressions sentences or dialogues which will be useful to know the information in requesting mode in informal situations or conversation we usually use we usually use wh questions to get some information from someone so informal situations what do we use wh questions are used to get or to gain information from someone to know the information what we don't know or what we do not know these questions start with the wh words such as what when where why who who whose and which some examples are so informal situations we usually use wh questions here they have given you wh words also and they have also given some examples what is your name where is my book when is the flight why is he running after him who are you which is your book these questions are informal because they are direct questions these questions should be avoided in a formal conversation in order to make them formal and polite we need to preface them with expressions such as please can you please could you please may i know here what should you understand wh words are used to ask information but in informal way in formal way what do we use can could may can you tell me the way to the bus station please could you spell your name for me may i know who is calling we shall discuss this in detail below you have to know the variation or difference children wh words are used to know the information in an informal way can may could these are used to know the information in formal way in formal way expressions for asking for information you can use a different expressions to ask for information some of them are listed below informal what is the cost of the application form can you tell me the cost of the application form different expressions used to ask for information what informal way can will formal way can you tell me the cost of the application form will you tell me the cost of the application form will you please tell me the cost of the application form do you think you would be able to tell me the cost of the application form could you please tell me the cost of the application form could you possibly tell me the cost of the application form the question refers to same topic but different ways of asking by using different kinds of auxiliary verbs or helping verbs would you be kind enough to tell me the cost of the application form to formal way formal way as you can see the sentences above are arranged in increasing order of formality yes we have understood very clearly by going through each and every sentence for the levels of formality are increased by question to question now let us look at the expressions we can use for replying to the request so until now we have gone through the questions how should you reply after conveying the information replying affirmatively positively some examples it would be my pleasure i would be glad to certainly of course s yes. all right sure okay so informal way replying negatively some examples you can use these phrases in both the formal and informal situations now i am sorry i wish i could but i am afraid not i can't so here they have given you how should you ask the information in both formal way and informal way how should you reply or respond affirmatively and negatively affirmatively means positively asking for information using the phrase would you mind you can also make a request 
by using the expression would you mind would you mind giving me a lift so how should you form a phrase you how should you ask for information using the phrase would you mind would you mind explaining that to me again If you want to respond positively to this request you can use one of the following depending on the situation so what are they telling here if you want to respond positively affirmatively to this request you can use one of the following depending on the situation in form of course not i don't mind i would not mind not at all i'd be glad to it would be my pleasure in a formal way if your response is negative then you can say i can't i'm sorry i can't both can be used either in either in formal or informal situations you have to go through all the expressions carefully children then you will get an idea how should you respond in formal way informal way positively and negatively some examples can you please post this letter for me yes certainly i am studying can you please stop talking all right more formal could you please assemble in this room immediately after lunch yes certainly could you please tell me where you are ringing up from sure so these are the different kinds of expressions children used in formal and informal way positively and negatively if you practice you can write a more better expressions than this so this is given for you for making you to get an idea and introduction okay in this way we have to respond or in this way we have to converse with others with the friends we converse in informal way with elders we converse in formal way that has to be there in your mind for making your conversation or communication very effective lesson based writing skills imagine that you are the secretary of the environmental environment club of your school write an announcement suggesting that your school will organize a tree plantation week in the next month okay children regarding this announcements already we have done one of the exercises in your textbook also based on that once refer that then you can write the announcement in your notebook the little boy felt the warm of a wrinkled old hand here wrinkled old hand describes old age add a few more words or phrases that describe old age example gray hair so here you have to you write the words or phrases that describe old age already we have discussed some of the words or phrases in your textbook and i have announced some of the phrases related to this exercise other than those you have to write some other phrases related to describing old days phrases should not be repeated keep that in mind to answer well complete the assigned work in time to improve your skills Have a nice day